the Nigerian Space Agency complex is as ambitious and seemingly as impossible as the program itself. On these 200 hectares of land, a museum and a planetarium are being built, along with a complex for visiting scientists. But not all of these projects are funded, and very little construction appears to be going on. Inside the main building, everything is tinted green from the glass ceiling, and it feels a bit like another planet. With statues of rockets and satellites decorating the lobby, it is easy to see why officials here are so excited. The agency is in touch with its three satellites in orbit, including Nigeria Sat X, launched in 2011. Spencer Una, the Center for the Satellite Technology Development Director says they are particularly proud of that satellite built in Surrey, Britain. Nigeria Sat X was completely designed and manufactured using the Surrey satellite technology equipment uh, by Nigerian engineers and scientists. But in a country plagued by abject poverty, some Nigerians question if space travel is a luxury they can afford. Yes, says National Space Research and Development Agency spokesperson Felix Ale. He argues satellite imagery is key for national development. The Earth observation satellites, you know, have uh, you know, really assisted in a lot of application areas. So it has uh, been used, you know, in the area of uh, disaster monitoring, you know, in the area of agriculture. Nigeria has another goal, to send an astronaut into space by 2015. However, they haven't started training anyone yet. But as far-fetched as it sounds, Ali says space programs are all about big dreams. We want to tell the world that the Nigerian space program is a success story. It's a new song, you know, to sing about this country. And uh, it's again, you know, a reaffirmation that uh, things can work in this part of the globe. If we have the, the commitment, we have the zeal. Officials say an African astronaut in space will encourage health research on diseases that have a large impact on the continent, like malaria and sickle cell anemia. And while some of their current projects are on hold for lack of funding, by 2028, they say, they hope to have Made in Nigeria satellites orbiting the Earth. Heather Murdoch for VOA News, Abuja.